Davian spun smoothly past another slow-moving bolt of shimmering white essence, not bothering to extinguish it this time. He darted across the rain-slick courtyard toward his target, weaving nimbly between the bright slivers of energy inching across the open space, all the while focusing on the spherical mesh of dark, hardened con from which the attacks were emanating. He gritted his teeth, blinking away the occasional droplet of rain that made its way into his eyes, continuing to force back the flow of time as he moved. Everything was much harder this far from Dylanus. It was less than a minute since he'd begun, but already he was nearing his capacity to keep this up. He stepped to the side as more bars of molten light appeared. He diverted some of his focus and snatched a few of them from the air nearby with Khan, redirecting them back at their source. They hit the spinning sphere and simply dissipated. He grunted, not bothering to look around as the first of the bolts he'd ignored finally smashed into the tall stone archway behind him, accompanied by the muted roar of crumbling masonry as it began to collapse. The elders were not going to like that. Brightening at the thought, he dodged between the two con barriers in his path, similar in construction to the sphere ahead but entirely static, and skidded to his knees as another stream of light, this one far stronger than anything he'd seen thus far, sliced through the air where his head had been a few seconds earlier. His eyes widened a little. That was new. Dangerous, too. He growled, forcing himself up again, and finally reaching the outer edge of the swirling sphere. He breathed deeply, the sharp cold of the winter's morning in his lungs helping him focus, clearing his head. He could do this. The barrier wasn't perfect. The hardened mesh confronting him was just a shell protecting active, malleable con underneath, and he could occasionally spot the more vulnerable lines of dark energy writhing through the gaps. The problem was that the mesh was constantly revolving. Even slowed though it was to his perception, the protective shell still moved too fast to accurately thread his own con through it. And the moment any of his attacks touched the hardened, spinning outer layer, they dissipated like smoke in the wind. Stepping into motion again, he prowled the edge of the barrier, every nerve taut as essence attacks flashed out at him, slowed but still requiring quick reactions at this range. In between the strikes... He arrowed dark energy experimentally into the gaps of the sphere, probing for weaknesses. Each time, his threads were cut by the mesh before they could impact what was inside. He tried forcing the con through faster, but to no avail. He tried matching his threads to the rotation. The shell somehow sensed what he was doing, and jerked in response, changing direction, shifting savagely and unpredictably in order to slice through his attack. He growled again, for a moment considering trying hardened con of his own, but the memory of his last such attempt held him back. A con blade would more easily disrupt the soft internal workings of the shield, but there was one firm rule when two constructs of hardened con clashed. Whichever was created first was stronger. Even if he succeeded in damaging what lay within, it wouldn't be fast enough to stop the mesh from rotating into his own attack. And the last time he'd been manipulating hardened con, when it had been broken, he'd ended up bedridden for an entire day combating the resulting headache. Davian's sense of urgency mounted as a faster-moving bar of essence grazed his shoulder, and he felt time start to push against him again. He squinted. A portion of the sphere seemed to be only shell, with no active con strands behind it at all. Was that right? Easier to maintain, he supposed, but flawed dependent on illusion for security. Hardened Khan couldn't stop him from physically moving through it, and if he could place himself inside it without being hit by any of the active Khan strands, the rest would be easy. He waited three more full rotations of the mesh, batting away flashes of essence until the gap he'd spotted came toward him again. He dove forward. The world lurched as the active strands, rotating with the shell, hidden neatly between two close-set layers of hardened con, caught him. He was ripped violently back into time, dropping to one knee and groaning, head spinning. His limbs felt weak and he swallowed, barely avoiding dry retching. Behind him, he could hear the last pieces of the shattered archway still smashing to the ground. When he'd recovered enough to look up, Ischel's amused grin greeted him. You really thought you could just walk through it? Davian grunted. I thought there was a gap, he coughed, 
rising unsteadily to his feet, quickly supported by Ischel as he stumbled. That was dirty. Ischel's smile widened as she gestured with her free hand, dismissing the barrier that had been whirling around her. Because my shield actually did what it was supposed to do, or because I outsmarted you? Dirty, repeated Davian firmly, though he gave her a smile as he rubbed his head. He sighed, then politely disengaged himself from Michelle's grasp, glancing around at the cloud of dust where the archway into the courtyard had once been. And, hmm, hmm, agreed Michelle, giving him a stern look. That's not my fault, protested Davian. There was no way I could have absorbed all those bolts and kept myself outside of time. That was the point, Ischel peered at him. You need to be less competitive. Davian snorted. We won't mention that one blast that nearly took my head off then. He sighed. I still have no idea how to beat that shield of yours. You say you can maintain it while you're asleep now, too? If mine was half as effective, I'd be ecstatic. A few years of constant nagging from Driskin helps get it right, observed Ischel. She paused. And the fact that I'm better than you, of course, that's relevant, too. Davian barked out a laugh, then immediately regretted it as pain shot through his skull. Of course, not counting when we practice with reading, or communicating mentally, or altering our passage through time, or drawing essence, or— Ischel cut him off with a loud sigh of mock sadness. Better, Davian. Better. Davian grinned, but dipped his head slightly in acknowledgment. Give me a few moments. Then we can go again. 